Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey everyone, welcome to Ron's Gently Used Sausages, aka the Drinking Bros. Hey, we've been te- we've been teasing just, out some new names for the show. Yeah, we have. Jet- Ron's Gently Used Sausages. They're yeah, gently used, just, Jared. It doesn't like I, I, okay. Used. That sounds like a fucking sausage emporium. It doesn't sound like a show. Oh, you all. Brought to you by Ron's yeah, Gently that's Used that's Sausages. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, gently, welcome to well, Ron's Gently Used, used Sausages. sausages they've been gently used, and I don't see what the fucking problem is. I don't either. I don't either. And if We're the all show robes. gets taken off the air, we have to come up with a new name. To yeah. Look, we've all, we all look like we have different identities. If you're watching on YouTube, you subscribe on Drinking Bros Podcast um, if you're not. But we are all wearing robes, and we are testing out... Uh, not, uh, New hat. No, these are. This is the way robes are supposed to be, bro. Yes. They're supposed to be short. Like super nice robes short are supposed cuffed? to be short cuffed. Short cuffed, yeah. yeah. What is that for? Hand washing? No, it's for uh, your Rolex. Because okay. if you wear a robe, you still want to show your Rolex. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I got this nice G-Shock I got from the uh, the BX a few years ago. We got some super nice G-Shocks from. Uh, uh, what the I've had a new one in it? about three years. So project uh, project peacekeeper. Yes, look it up. And I actually gave uh, mine to uh, my neighbor, who is the uh, sheriff. Uh, yes, just, yeah, correct. Guy's, oh, wow. He's Thank cool. You. I like that Thank guy. You. He's a Thank rad you for guy. Not giving me one. He, well, he reminds me of Tom. I've got Brown. one if you want it. Here's what, well, here's what I said, and let okay. me ask your opinion on this because he was. I, I gave it to him, and he was like, "Man, are you sure?" Um, works for Wilmington PD, and I said, uh, "I said, yeah, you know, it's a thin blue line watch," yeah. and I go. I, me personally, I would feel like a poser just wearing this. And Thin I was like, blue line watch you're right. in it every day. Yeah. Um, here it is right there. Oh, that you can have beautiful. that. Beautiful. Yeah. Really? I don't really wear watches that much, but you wear G-Shocks every day, so you should take that. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've nice got to think about this. I'll, look, let me see. I'll, 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 I'll put it on for one. the rest of the show. I know this one, so it's like. I'll put it on for the rest of the show. This one's a little different, so now I've got to learn a new one. It's I mean, like it's a great watch. It's a watch. It's one of the nicest watches Ever and I, what do they? Only made? They only made a limited number of these. They right? made a limited number, and uh, you can you can buy them. I think they're 150 bucks. So it's a super nice watch. And here's the thing: so they're giving them to police and first responders, mm-hmm. and any police or first and that's responder. That's what I did. Yeah, yeah. So any so buy one, give it to a cop. Basically. That's what I did. And if if it gets broken in the line of duty, Project Ooh, Peacekeeper will. Wrist. Project Peacekeeper go. in line with G-Shock will fucking replace it for free. That's amazing. Yes, forever. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so what I did was uh, I gave it to a neighbor. Yeah. He, he runs the canine unit. He's got the dog, dude. Oh, dope. Um, and I didn't, I didn't realize the significance or what went into that. But, like, whenever they have to bring the dog out, like, 10 cars show up at the house. Because he's right across the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 10 cars show Why is that? I don't know. If you're calling the dog, it's something big. It is something. I mean, big. you got you obviously need backup. Yeah, you need a dog. Like you need backup. And so I asked, yeah. um, and they and they were like, "Oh shit, that's Glenn. He's a fucking badass." And I was like, well, awesome. "What does Glenn do?" They're like, "Man, the dog is like saved lives." And I was like, "What? What happened?" I guess a girl got kidnapped, and um, the dog found her out in the middle of the woods. Like, dogs, are the, those dogs are the fucking shit, man. They're amazing. Uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, uh, Ritland. Mike Ritland. Mike Ritland. Mike, Mike Ritland. <laughs> that actually. was the great, one of the greatest videos ever. We've <laughs> yeah, we got to get him on the show. Do you He's know, got a podcast. Do you know the history? No. Mike Ritland has Zeus, my dog. Yeah. Really? The male the male of the two. You're that, kidding. That was mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we had to, you know, find a home for him. Mike Ritland took him. No way. Yes. Finally. Yes. Mike, you did a great service. Jared used to keep those dogs in cages. Very Michael Vickish over no, your house. No, not at all. Um, no, no. Eh. I, you kept. I kept the mail. They were out of in control his, in in his crate because he did not like new people. He was <laughs> very protective <laughs> of of the babies and everything like that. He was. Yes, was, was, that's I mean, one thing. They're Louisiana hog hunting dogs. So Mike has the dog. Mike has Zeus. That's yes. great. He's got a podcast too called Mike Drop, and they were like, "Hey man, yeah, why don't you get him on the show?" I was like, "Fuck." Actually, we're having guests on next week. Uh, the guys that write the Tier One books. Mm-hmm. All that whole series, and it's it's, it's here when operators, uh, it's like a it's a novel, like a, a military novel series. Yeah, they're going to be on the show Monday. Um, I don't actually know when it's going to air yet, but they're coming in Monday to record. So uh, they were just on mic drop. Oh, were they really? Yeah, they. Awesome. That's, that's how so, they found out about great. us. I think Mike told them about us. Yeah, we need to get Mike out. We need yeah. to get Mike on the that show. Would be a good story. I mean, so for everybody that doesn't know, he went on Fox News. That clip has gone right? viral. We reposted it. Everybody's reposted. Yeah. I mean, he's he was he, talking about military working He started. Working dogs. He started the Epstein challenge, pretty much. God, it, because li- yeah, uh, again, really again, funny, I'm going yeah. back to our last episode. Yeah, like you know how long <laughs> Baba Booey, 
lasted. Mm-hmm. And that that fucked with the media so much for so long. And they were so mad, but there was nothing they could do about it. Right. Yeah. And then fuck her right in the pussy. Yep. Mm-hmm. F-I-T. And now we have a legitimate uh, viral campaign to bring justice and truth yeah, to the this American time, public. This time, instead like, of it just being some weird thing, it's actually yes, there's a fucking it's, it's a legitimate behind thing it. behind it. And yeah. I hope I hope everybody keeps it up for the next for years to come until the media is just like we can't interview anybody, we can't go anywhere public, like we're fucked, like. Because fuck you for ignoring this story, ABC. <laughs> ABC. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck Disney. Because Disney you. owns ABC, they yeah. own ESPN, they own Fox, they own Nat Geo, they own everything. Yeah, they own you're everything. You're full yeah. of shit. Yeah. And you're you're showing your cards to the public now. Yeah. And again, like <laughs> your time is near. And uh, for there was a time um, in our lives where we were saying fuck Jared for burying his story. Uh, but today... You are here, actually here to tell you're, this story. You're right. You're right. You, story. There's quite a few times that you guys are mad at me for uh, waiting. A story. Waiting. Waiting. Yeah. I just wait. Burying a story. I, I'm not. I'm not hiding it. There's a look. Everybody watching at home on YouTube. There's a reason we are wearing robes on this show. Uh, We're channeling our inner half. Three. Right. Now. Three mean, robes in particular. Yeah. This is. Uh, <laughs> You know, how it's nice a, it's a significant a, life event. Very sexy. How show. nice are these robes from they're, Luke, Luke Belair, by the way? Really yes. They're the ones that sent us these branded so fucking drinking this? bros. Yeah, dude. Yes. Oh, my God. They're the I ones that sent us these branded yeah. drinking oh, bros man, fucking take this uh, 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 champers right here. Oh, it did, yes. The uh, go to yeah. LukeBelair.com, yeah. L-U-C-B-E-L-A-I-R-E.com forward slash drinking bros. Get a fucking eight pack for the holidays and the nicest champagne and rosé in the world. Uh, for a limited time up until the holidays, yeah. 26 bucks. If you were <laughs> drinking bros, uh, promo code drinking bros, and they'll ship it to you. Um, I did. I bought an eight pack for the holidays, and yeah, that's same. all I'm doing is giving it giving away when I go to these fucking parties. You know what I've been doing is I take the robe home, and if I'm going to fuck a girl, I play uh, fight music. Yep. Like the entry song, duh, 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 that song, and then I just walk into the room and I'm like shadow boxing and shit like that. Yeah. Then I hand her the roofie and like, just take this. It's not a big deal. Just, I don't want to hide it from you. Yeah. Like, I'm being honest, so do what I fucking told you to do, okay? Sure. My eyes Very get really, Cosby. My eyes get really wide at the end, mm-hmm. but for the most at least I'm honest about it, right? Yeah. That's the key. No, you, Honesty you, is the key. You give her a choice. Roofie or what's the other choice? What's the, I don't know. Jared, she goes home. <laughs> Jared, we know. I'm what the trying other to make is. this. I'm trying to make this consensual. It is. Well, I'm. It I'm is. telling her whether she not or whether or not. <laughs> I, I don't know what you guys did in the '90s and early 2000s, but I took GHB recreationally a lot. Yes, you did. Like if you take two thirds of the amount that you take to pass out, you get fucked up. I did until I realized uh, mm-hmm. it was the the same chemicals that developed pictures. It, it, it's I don't know about that, I was, but it's definitely man made. There's busy nothing good about being it. forced to run the nasty Nick. Yeah, Nick at night, that kind of thing. What are you talking about, nasty Nick? What is that? The, the obstacle course. Yeah, so it sucks, dude. Yeah, it sucks a lot. Fucking dudes firing fifty cows over your head, and you're crawling under barbed wire with Artie Sims going on all over the place. Now imagine doing that sucks. on GHB. Yeah. Oh, it, that would make it way better, brother. Come on, uh, make your life way better. Go to LukeBelair.com. L U C. B e l a i r e dot com forward slash drinking bros. Give some champers, dude. Twenty six bucks. So I back to the point of all like of this, we're dressing these robes that happen to be from Luke Belair because we love them. Mm-hmm. Because someone we love did something crazy. Uh, someone not crazy. It's a significant life event. I would like to. Uh, was this your first one? Uh, S L E. Yes, this was my first. Oh, what's what's S L E stand for? Significant, significant life, life event. event. Okay. Um, now you <laughs> had a threesome inside your parents' house. Okay, so we don't have to marry the two quite yet. Oh, gosh, gotcha. I'm so, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Well, I mean, we have to explain why it's taken this long for the story to come out, and that is why. Because <laughs> your mother didn't know. Your mother, by the there way. There was people at, at the live show. Was weird. Dan and I were doing a live show in Orlando. Yep. Um, you were on FaceTime with the three girls. Two were in a shower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you said, hey, guys, really sorry I can't be there. I'm having a threesome at my parents' house, and there was about 150 people at this party. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. And uh, so they've been wanting to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, what happened? How did this go down? And do, do your parents know? They do know now. Okay. I, was, I just wanted to wait until, you know, I didn't want them because they how, both. How did your both, mom find out? They both do listen to the show. Really? Yes. Oh, boy. That's exactly how my mom found out. From listening to the show? Yes. Oh, because shit. she was like, I go to dinner when they come to visit. It, it, no kidding. It was the first. I, I, I see them for 10 minutes. Uh-huh. And I'm at the dinner. And she was like, hey. Did you? I was like, wait, 
why are you asking me that? She said, I was listening to the show and Ross started to say, tell us about this. And you went, whoa, 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 and yeah. denied it all. She goes, what were you doing? She so was like, did you have, she was like, were you having a threesome in my house that weekend? And I was like, duh. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Well, what did she think was and happening with two laughing. girls in there? What? I don't know. Like you guys were having a fucking slumber party now? Yeah. We're fucking in here, Ma. Ma! We've we're been fucking. Your, we've been to your parents' Ma! house. Yeah. Ma! We're, we're fucking fu- in there. Ah! Give me meatloaf. <laughs> we're fucking. <laughs> There's a lot of energy being expelled. <laughs> Look, your mom added me on Facebook two weeks ago. She did, What yeah. does that mean to you? As a friend. It, what it does it mean to me? Yeah, what does You're going to have a new dad probably pretty Look, soon. Look, I've told you a bunch of times that I will adopt you, and I will treat you so good. Really I'll be good. your stepdad. Like I would, ch- dude. We'll go. We'll go to fucking baseball games oh, together. Shit, that's boring as fuck. Fishing. No, we'll go. No, fuck fishing. We'll go like blow shit up. Yeah. We'll troll everybody we know. Well, we're, he, this is all stuff that we're gonna do anyway. He hasn't, Brunch. He hasn't said anything about jet skiing. I uh, probably he, won't. He can't be my real dad. Sea doing. Yeah. Well, here's what we can do. No, sea doers are off limits. Uh, what we can do is we'll set up. We'll take our jet skis out and set up uh, IEDs in the water. Oh, okay. And yeah, blow up cool. other jet skis. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's perfect. I like that. I like or, sea mines. Or we'll sea set up. Mines. Or what we'll do, we could set up ramps out there and jump people's yachts and our jet skis. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I want to do. Why not? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Um, my problem. My, my problem with all of this is this. I've been to your parents' house. Yeah, yeah, um, you have. You have. It is a ranch because they live in Florida. Yeah, it, it's it nice. Is, yeah, yeah, it's they great. Got a pool. Great house. We um, have the backyard. It's we awesome. filmed a lot. It's not show like there's two there. wings of the house though. But it's a ranch. Um, so and, one, yeah, one, one floor, floor ranch style. One floor. Sort of ranch. When you're having a threesome, it is typically loud. How did your mom and or dad not hear this threesome? Because they were having their own threesome. I had my hand on mouths. To you on both mouths? I only had to. I only had to. Usually uh, in a threesome, you've only got to cover yeah. one mouth yeah. at a time. Okay. Uh, yeah. In my experience, yeah. Gotcha. But at one point, yes, I think I was like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a lot of work. That's why I keep it. Was. A, I keep it was. a grip. Around, I'm like, hey, guy, fucking cover this girl's mouth right quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he runs the camera. But I mean, I, th- I think it's, f- I, it's only fair <laughs> that you know, if you're gonna have your first, uh, female, female, male threesome to yep. do it in your parents' house. Was that your first time? That was my first FFM. Okay. Yeah. Not yeah, yeah. your I first mean, threesome though. You've had you fucked like, girls with other dudes. Yeah. Before. I mean, that's just a given. Like if you're in the military, yeah, every happens. once in a while. Sometimes like, it happens. To you. Hey, you want in on this? Or you're like calling your buddy. Hey, you want in on this? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's just being I mean, a good friend, right there. Some girls yeah. really enjoy that. It, yeah. Not, well, I'm not trying to uh, get in the way of their fun. No, no, you're not. Uh, what? Uh, God, what's his name? I can't remember the comedian's name, but he says I'm not. In, I'm not put on this earth to be a goalie. Like I'm here to either. Score. Help other people achieve their goals or get out of the way. Yeah. One yeah. of those two things. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm with um, that. So where did you meet these two <laughs> Barker beauties? Actually, Party Ben introduced me to the first one. Man, it always starts with Party Ben. Well, it, I it, feel it, like. it, it, he didn't. He didn't really know her. He just had knew of her Instagram and okay shared it with me. And so, is this the first time you would met them? It was in yes the, within a no. week. It was yeah, within a yeah, week yeah, of yeah, meeting because both I of them, had yeah. met the first one. A week prior, and okay. we'd spent a week together, okay. and then we went down to my parents' house, and that's when her friend came up from South Florida Got it. And, and stayed with us, uh, and then we proceeded to have you know a whole weekend of this. Okay, so with I, that. I have to say, the psychology. Yeah, that, that's after, where I was going with this. Yeah. After, after the ice is broken, mm-hmm. and then like. You're hanging out during the day, like the, so. So Friday night was like, you know, the big night of whoa, this is going down, this is happening, this is cool. Were they? But then, now were they hooking up with each other? Were they absolutely. going down on each other? Like, yeah, everything. And everything then you're fucking just, both. There, of them. There's just there's just everything was happening. Okay. Uh, then you go into like Saturday where you have a normal, fun hangout day where we're like barbecuing and with drinking. your parents. Yeah, in yeah. the pool, but. And you and I have had those days with your sitting, parents. But the dynamic sitting changes. Sitting there with two really <laughs> good-looking girls and knowing, like, you get both at the end of the night was just a weird, weird uh, position to be in. So at, at no point in the day, because, look, your parents' house is a blast, right? Yeah, you hang out in the shit. pool. Yeah. yeah you, you cook out. You drink all day. It's a blast. Did you ever pop back in the house to get head and then just pop back out? No. No, because I, I, I think it was, uh, 
I think it was cool, like, saving it. Again, like, we're in the pool all day. So they're in bikinis Mm -hmm. and shit like that. And you're just, like, you're almost satisfied at the fact that, like, yep, when the night's night's over, like, we're all going to the same room. Is there a sick part of you that, because you're sitting there, obviously, with your parents out there, that, like, holy shit, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be fucking these girls in my childhood home. Well, this, is, this isn't my childhood home. Okay. Yeah, my parents moved there. So this after. is just the retirement home. Yeah, uh, they moved there. So, so yeah, it's not, it doesn't have that. So fucking them in the retirement home. Nostalgia to yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Like, so there's none of that. But it still was funny. I'm still laughing on the inside knowing, you know, my dad's like, hey. my mom's like, damn it. So your, your dad does know too now. Yeah. yeah, but his dad would never have cared about anything. His dad is literally the most easygoing human being he is, in the yeah. history of humankind. Great guy. <laughs> like, he doesn't give Just a fuck. Like, he's yeah, a, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. a fucking skater dude from the 80s, man. He doesn't give a shit about any of this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, Dope. Fuck, uh, yeah. What should we do? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's a great man. He's yeah. I love that yeah. dude. So you guys hang out all day. You drink. You're eating barbecue, all yeah. this stuff. And then you go yeah. back to bed. Yeah. Uh, what, ha- what happens that night? I mean, you know, uh, that's when the kind of the white claw phase first started. Um, wow, wow. So we're just hanging out in it's, bed. It's happening now. Yeah, we're just hanging out in bed, like drinking white claws, and then eventually it gets to that like moment, like where one of them is like the the kind of uh, Insta- site lead, mm-hmm. instigator. If I would, yeah. yeah, like like she takes the lead and she mm-hmm. like controls it all. That's so that's the most interesting part of threesomes to me is who takes. Where, like the, it's the, good when the you dy- have a girl take the lead. It's yeah. always the best if yeah. the girl takes the lead. Because she's like, the dynamic. Okay, I'm going to do this. You're doing this. You're doing this. So what you're was like, her first okay. order of business in that? Uh, Did she go down on you? she go down on the girl? Yeah, I think she started. And then she was like, and then she got up. And she's like, your turn. Go. And then she's like coaching her like better, better. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, like, gotcha. Yeah. And it's like, it's pretty funny and fun mm-hmm. and like hilarious. So as this girl's sucking you off, do you go to completion? Mm-hmm. No, not there. You you have a whole night ahead of you. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know how with two girls in the same room. It's, it's hard. Same, yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hard, like it's, usually, you pop off around. And you're like, all right, cool. I'm gonna go back for no, for no seconds. No, I on saved the, it. Like, on the buffet. I, yeah, after I after 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 that one, I, I want to go to sleep. Oh, Jared. What? You got two girls. Look at me. Two hot girls in like, bed. I get it, but like I'm tired. To me, that's like uh, an 11 p.m. to like 3 a.m. activity. Yeah, with three rounds. Give or take. Yeah, that's minimum about, of three rounds, right? I mean, two to three. Yeah, it that's depends. about it what depends. it lasted. Yeah, but it was just one round. No, fuck that. Yeah. No. no, typically, way. you know, look on the first night. Here's, you're, here's, you're taking a rolling pin and trying to squeeze every last ounce out of your balls. Yeah, here's like, is what, there anything left inside? Here's what I like to do. I like to uh, get that first one out of the way. Yeah, because that first one is super passionate. Like everybody's into it. Some people are a little nervous, maybe. Yeah, but everybody's getting into it, and you you get a feel for it at that point, and then it's cool. The second one. The lead up to it is you're all just lying around, like taking a break or whatever the fuck. And it is, it's that is the most interesting part to me because there's something in the dynamic. Somebody, something happens somewhere and it just all starts again. Right. Right. It just, everything starts to kick off again. And you don't, you don't like looking back and you're like, man, I don't remember how this fucking got started. Well, somebody fucking touched my leg. I'm like, damn, that feels good. Let's fuck, man. This is bullshit. Here's the you proper I mean? rules of etiquette, I think, for it, right? Yeah. Two girls, you're both starting, right? If it's the second night. Now, let's say you're on the second night, yeah. right? You know the, the, the first, because you, you, you hadn't known them for more than a week, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, roundabout. Yeah. yeah. At that point, once you're getting blown by two different people, you go second mouth, boom, pop off that first round, right? Don't leave them hanging while you recuperate for 10 to 15. Then you roll over, start going down on the one who just finished you off. Mm. And then the other girl starts masturbating. And then you wait, because that'll work back up again in, yeah, yeah, in eight yeah. to 10 minutes. Absolutely. Look, like, if you're you not getting hard while you're both pussy, there's something wrong exactly. with you. Exactly. Yeah. And then you start boning both of them. Yeah. And then you can continue the night, because once the first round is gone, then you can mentally start to control things. Yeah. Where it's just yeah, like, all right, cool, yeah, I'm going to stay yeah, in the game. But a that also longer. comes with, <laughs> with experience. Like, again, when you're on the number two time, like, I, uh, yeah, it's still, it's still crazy. Like, you're still like, wait, what? Yeah, but it's, it's what a did, long time. What to did I still... do to deserve this? Number one. Jared, number two. You're a good guy and you deserve it. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a good guy. And, it, and then number two, it's like, I can't believe, like, it's they're going it's along with either. this. Like, fuck. Like, Yes, I look forward to the next time because it'll be a lot more comfortable. It'll be a, a yeah. lot more like 
all right, here's what we're doing. Well, here's you, you have to lead from a, a – it's almost like a power bottom kind of situation. You know what I mean? Like both of those women clearly like men who are in charge. Otherwise, they wouldn't be subjugating themselves to this circumstance. But – it is better for the experience, and I agree with you, if the woman takes the lead. Yeah. If one of the women takes the lead and is yes, that, the that, that is Well, because it takes the pressure off the man. That way you're not the fucking asshole in the yeah. situation yeah. Of, yeah. of that. But w- what I'm curious about is— Now, what helps, though, too, is the one that took the lead, I firmly believe, is like a, a weighted set. So like 70 to 80 percent more into girls than she is into guys. So that okay. helps— so she, she's getting both in this. Mm-hmm. Like she's fulfilling her own fantasy with this. Like because she has a girl and a she's guy. the access point. Yes. Yeah, she's the and she's, she's that, the person that brings both of those. To people have together, that yeah. makes it. You're not getting the jealousy. <laughs> you're not getting a. You spent too much time on her, or you did this, or blah 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 blah. No, like she's enjoying both points, and especially as being the alpha in the room for that moment of taking control. She's the one that's calling the, f- the the movements and the shots, right? So it's like, no, you you said we're switching to this. Like, this is that's all what we're you. doing. Yeah. yeah. Did you end up taking this girl on the cruise? Maybe. Because it, I, it, well, I, I only saw the video because we were doing a live show, and it looked like the same girl from the cruise. And and here's why I asked. May have looked like the same. Girl. May have looked <laughs> hypothetical. Let's say it was the same girl. Yeah. You got into some threesomes on the cruise. Different. That, they were different, but if it's the same girl, at least you know what you're involved with and you know what she's going to do in the next situation. Did that yes. help? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Like, w- way more comfort. Zone. Yeah, right? Uh, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, where the other couple is, here's what we didn't get the answer to, and there a lot of people wrote in about this when we did that episode. Were the other people on the cruise cool with it, and did it change their lives? Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're not like forcing anybody to do it. No, not that. Right? But yeah. look, some people wake up and they're like, "Oh fuck, I can't believe I let my wife get banged by somebody." Uh, it was no married couples. It was just boyfriends and girlfriends. Cor- yeah, okay. couples. But long term relationships. Uh, yeah, but 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 it it changed their lives and it kind of opened it up. Like, okay. I think every I think I think people a lot more people than you think are down with this, but it's that first jump. Or being comfortable with some with people that are not weird about it. I, I hear. Think, I, think I that's hear from, probably the biggest. I hear from people a lot. That, deal. and it's mostly married couples. Actually, I hear from them a lot. Particularly, like the one the woman chickens out at the end. Like the guys, like and it's usually the woman's idea. As a matter of fact, this right. is this is from. This There's is from, always that this fear, is from, though. Is the fear of of having, you know, that other couple get weird or clingy or yeah, yeah. this after the switch or anything <clears throat> like that like it becomes awkward or like one part is is like all of a sudden infatuated and yeah, it's yeah. like hey let's talk outside of the group and like that that's where it's a no-no it's yeah. like you bring it back in <clears throat> and it's like and that's a thing well that's why i think that, a lot of people that i've talked to say that they only want to fuck strangers like they don't want to they don't want to have either a full swap or they don't want to have a threesome with a woman they know from their circle somewhere because that's, that kind that's of a girl thing is, is yeah. uh, girls generally like that are open to threesomes will say it has to be a stranger and we can never talk to her again but yeah. if you're doing the full swap couple thing where it's 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 four of you in a room and you're all having fun and 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 fucking off like the way to keep that honest is to keep all the communication amongst all of you yeah. Do not have side conversations. Right. And that's and that's how it stays real is when you're every point of communication is going on in front of everybody. That way there is no like fill in the blank of wait, you were you were texting her like uh, by yourself, like without me knowing, yeah, like, like trying to make a meet up like 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 wait, this was this was our thing like right. that we're doing together. So it's like I think that's that's the key to keeping that honest is not communicating outside the the group. Okay. And uh, I, I feel like that's that's kind of black and white. Like if if you decided I, to I, go I this also route. Th- I also think it makes it way nastier 
because you're openly talking shit to this woman in front of her husband at that point or boyfriend right? yeah, yeah or whomever you, it is you yeah. are like but you're then, like instead of and then instead you're of like hey we're going to talk to yours yeah, yeah. like you're seeing it all and that becomes that's that's kind of a turn on it's interesting it's, like, Whoa. it's interesting like you're, you're so i think here here we'll, we'll go into this for a second the reason men and women cheat is super interesting to me most the the vast majority of women like 76% that cheat on their husbands or boyfriends are not in love with them anymore. But men who cheat on their wives, about 84% are still in love with their wife. Absolutely. They're doing it because... I would this, say that number is almost higher probably. Well, yeah. this is just based on research I've seen. Yeah. <clears throat> but the reason that men appear... The, the reason that men do it, there's, there's two reasons. One is they feel like they need to prove that they can still do it to themselves and other people. It makes you feel, it makes you feel really good, like accomplished. Like if right. you can still... Pull a girl that you've never yeah. that, you, that you met that met, yep. and you convince her to go home with yep. you to a hotel. Yep. You, it's like you did it. Like here's the ironic part of that whole thing, though. The man is doing that because he wants to demonstrate his prowess for the woman that he is still in love with. <laughs> like that, I, I swear to God, this sounds crazy. No, but that no, is, you're absolutely. The dude right. is trying to like, fuck this other woman to demonstrate, and in, in, in a way that he can never actually show his wife because she'd be mad. That he can still pull this it's kind like, of pussy. Hey, it's not about what? sexual gratification for you, dudes. Yeah, it's like it's it's almost proving <laughs> you, you you got a good pick. Yeah, like yeah, it's so weird. And for women, no, it's it's not weird. It's not. It's only if you break weird it down, it's not weird because yeah. all of this is bullshit. Like we are indoctrinated into relationships. We're indoctrinated into what a relationship is, mainly focused on by religion. Like this is all. This was all a learned behavior. If you grew up in a tribe or a society that essentially was free and open to where no monogamous relationships or anything existed it was kind of just who you ended up with or who you liked and you constantly were just fluid in it within mm -hmm. your tribe you would never think twice about this so this we, wouldn't be foreign to no you. totally and, like, and i know we've, we've touched on this we've talked about it on, on another show but like it's still like take today there's a girl here today right she knows all of this about you before, or is she hearing this for the first time? No, no, no. Anybody that comes in my life, I make them research. <laughs> you make them listen to... So Jared's got this new idea. Yeah, I have this new... It's a one-year moratorium, right? So you have, to, you have to know me for one year before we can enter into a serious I relationship. I remember that, yes. Yeah, so yeah. You have, there's, there's, give or take, about 500 hours of him talking about weird shit that you can find readily on the internet. Oh, yeah, for free. Want, for free. Yeah. So there's that. Then just be around him and experience this bullshit for one year. And then if you still want in, then we'll fucking give it some serious consideration. Well, yeah, we'll talk about it at that point. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, so, usually, like, crazy in a woman takes somewhere between six and, like, I don't know, 15 weeks yeah. to come out. Something yeah. like that. Well, like it's, it's just it's, in that it's like, again, like, we've, we've constructed the wrong path. We've... With, with our culture and and again this indoctrination of what you're supposed to chase in your life to find love or anything like that is super against nature like it's super against natural natural uh, uh essentially like uh what you want uh -huh. what you want to do nobody in their natural state goes oh i want to find <laughs> one person and only fuck them the rest of my life i'm sorry you're a fucking liar. You're a liar, and it ha and th this is something I'm, I was dudes, laughing at. Yeah, I was laughing at. Yes, for <laughs> males. Yeah, because it, and we can bring this back to the Cro Magnum period after this, mm -hmm. and talking about what females had to do to develop a security piece for them when, as as they were progressing, women started. Con but, women control language, and men control hunting and violence. Yeah, basically. Um, That's. I mean, it's really that simple. But it's just, yeah, We there was a, a thread in Drinking Rose Singles recently where a girl was bitching about, oh, is, is the only thing guys want is sex? It's like, yes, you idiot. If you're over 30 years old, like, yes. And if you deny that, you're a liar. Like, guys don't need another friend over 30 years old. They don't need a fucking buddy that comes over that's hot that they're attracted to. That it's like, oh, I'm just gonna do platonic things with you. Like, get the fuck out of here. Well, you fuck guys, you you, like, and, you have said this for a long time. You don't think a, an adult man and woman can be friends without wanting to fuck each other. No, right? no, that doesn't happen. Nope, and, and absolutely not. My wife and I have the same thing of like, dude, there's not one girl she wants me to hang out with, and uh, I understand why. Yeah, because 
eventually, oh, eventually, it does, it, and eventually, normally lasts about two minutes. You're thinking about it. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if they're attractive or not. You're still like, eh. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the <laughs> like, that, that's the irony of our of our species, though. Like, women want one thing, and that's how they build their security. It's it's so weird the way that uh, this is all worked out socially. So, women build their security by attaching themselves to a strong man. And that isn't that isn't like an anti-feminist statement or anything like that. There's plenty of strong women. Tiffany Hart, for example, could probably be badass. The, she could probably beat the shit out of all three of us right now by herself, and she'd be eating a rabbit eyeball on the side when she's doing it. But the idea, just genetically or in, in your DNA, uh, women have been women are the weaker physical like gender. There's no question about that. Bone density, muscle mass, all that shit. It's just science, right? So to protect themselves, they attach themselves to strong men and when i say strong i don't mean like and they a created tough guy. a psychological hold yeah so they create a psychological that hold on that how guy they and evolve that's... to protect to, to to give themselves security and yeah. give themselves food and give themselves all these like this is right this is from a like again like think back to the crow magnum <laughs> period where it's caveman style you have a bunch of guys you have some girls like if they didn't evolve to keep a dude right and they remember, remember, yeah. men back then were on average somewhere between five eight and six foot tall, on average somewhere between one hundred and sixty and one hundred ninety pounds. Women were somewhere between five one and five three, and they were about one hundred fifteen to one hundred and twenty five pounds, give or take. Right. right. So if you're a woman out there on your own, in the civilization, but on your own, and you're out there trying to compete, Hunt this and- is this is pre market economics, but market economics exists still because power wins most of the time, right? And if you're out there trying to hunt and do other stuff and this other guy's like, you know what? I don't feel like hunting today. I'm just going to take her shit. You don't have a man that's bigger and stronger to protect you. You get killed. Right. It's just the way it is. It's not, you get your shit it's, taken. It's not a matter yeah. of, of sexism or thinking women can't do this. I'm sure there's some women that could do it. But on average, the average woman was much smaller and less violent than a man was just in her DNA. Mm-hmm. And this is the way it worked out. So now women want this like very socialized fucking relationship controlled. well it is yeah. controlled but i don't think they think of it that way it's just the way it is like they think that's they've come to believe that that's what love and family is to them it's creating this unit of people that stick together no matter what and men are like i have to demonstrate my fucking physical prowess all the time whether that's going out and hunting or being playing fucking beer league softball or fucking trying to bang other chicks or whatever it is it's like the it's the sad irony of our species that this is the case. And, and I, how do you how do you approach it? Like people like Jared approach it the way he approaches most things, which is like, oh fuck it, I'm gonna do what I want, right? Yeah. And people like you who are like actually like the stability choose the family life, right? Correct. So it goes both ways. It's not like dude But I was wild as fuck. So like <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. one of those people who like, all right, cool, man. And after that period I'd had some good mentors in my life who were like, hey, man, if you want to get married and have kids and have a family, yeah. do all that you shit. You got to get it out first. Yes, and do it around 35. So Don't, this, here's, Do not get married in your 20s. Do not get married in your, like, 35 is when you really start to think about it and yeah. settle down. And with the way technology is and your body is, as long as you take care of yourself, you're not a shit bag, right? Yeah. You can still chase your kids around to what they would say is extend it out 18 years to where you're, you're – son or daughter's high school graduation is so if you're taking them out doing things staying up watching movies whatever it is extend that out of like all right man you'll be like 53 by the time they're getting ready to leave the house which is fine yes i mean totally fine especially we're 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 at the point now in uh in at least in america where the over the last couple years the the average age like uh the average lifespan for men and women have been fluctuating a little bit yeah but we're on the cusp now over the next 20 years where our lifespan is probably going to go up by about 20 percent yeah so stop worrying about that shit no you're fine yeah, yeah, you're, yeah you're absolutely like, fine don't don't rush into shit and have kids and do all this crazy shit because just because you want to get it like i've got to do this but i so it's I, all I, indoctrination though right but, I, but you're, I, but you're, you're indoctrinated to thinking that that that's what your life has to be but i like, I, I listened and i enjoy my life i have yeah. no regrets no regrets um but, but at here's all. here's who i don't but a lot trust. of people in the military well, oh you, well, well, why? why don't there's a whole other why dynamic. Get married there. at like fucking. There's a whole. Years old. Because, there's so many dynamics it's the culture, involved there. It's the culture that you're in. Extra money, and uh, it, it's that you. And I can explain this from experience. Mm-hmm. I show up to my first unit. Everybody on my team is married or has a serious relationship that they live with, 
and they have kids. So it's like you. So if you want somebody you, to hang out you with. You start infusing yourself in situations where you're not really going. And again, I want you to mirror this to you going to college at 18 years old. I went in the military at yep. 18, years old, 18 years old. So you going to college at 18 years old, everybody's going to class, getting their shit done, and then they're raging. Yes. They're, they're raging. You're single. You're fucking finding a new. There's hot girls that you've never from all over the country are oh, coming yeah. into one school. Yeah. In the military, you're in a town that's not a major city. You're on a base, and this town has an over influx of males. Fayetteville, for example, 85,000 males in a city. That's in that's that's influx because Jesus of Christ. the unit. They're there yeah. that would yeah. not normally be there. Yes, yeah. like you, like so. Okay, here's eighty five thousand fucking paratroopers yeah. that are now in this city that live here. So your pickings for the dating cycle are either we've always we've always made the joke they they were either left there, left there, or born there, or born there. Yeah. Whereas they're either a descendant or a child of somebody that's in yeah. that military, or they were somebody that somebody brought in and got Mar- divorced or left, divorce and left, left there. Yeah. Oh, so God. it's like, yep. so you get there. That's depressing. And, and the ratio is so off. You know, in Fayetteville, probably up 28 to 1. 28 males to every one female in that city. So when you start going in into dating in a in a town like that, uh-huh. and, and this this takes place in Watertown up at, at Fort Drum, this mm. takes place in Savannah, like at Fort Stewart, like this is how military towns work. You latch on to the first mediocre thing that you get, and you just you're you're like, wow, I mean, she's okay looking, and she's kind of cool. I guess this is it. So mm. you speed ramp. Your process, because at, at 18 years old, every house party and thing I'm going, I'm going to a house with kids and we're, we're drinking at the house, but it's like, it's, it's a very family oriented thing. So it's like, okay, I guess I need, I need a, I need a wife too. Like, otherwise, you know, I'm not, I'm that one single guy on the right. team that everybody's like, you're not allowed to hang out with him. That makes blah, sense. Blah, blah, blah. I don't yeah, like you going sense. TDY with him. Like. Because he's single. So it's like, you, and that's exactly what I did. The second date I went on in Fort Bragg, I married. Like, really? Yes. How long, how long were you guys, how long did you guys date before you proposed her? Six months. <laughs> Jesus. Because you feel like you're on a, you feel no, like understand. you're on a time crunch. Yeah. You feel like you won't find anything better because it's like you're standing in a place with no options. It's like standing in line. I swear to God, if there was like a if there was a food truck out in our parking lot right now, and there was one line for it, but we went on the other side and just made our own line, just the three of us, more people would come to that line. Oh yeah, it's the way human psychology works. Like, oh, that person must know what they're doing. I'm going to do that too because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, and who who at 18 knows what they're doing? No. You know what I mean? No way. And and your only mentors <laughs> are 20, 21 year olds that are that are married with kids now. So you're just following. You're just following the the norm. It's like I need to fit in. Yeah. So you you settle for the first option. Literally the first option. That's like, why I, I went like... on two dates with one girl from the mall. Met my first wife, went on three dates with her, and was like, "Oh, this is it." Like that's how fast the process yeah. w- process was. I mean, Good obviously, enough. I'm a fucking idiot at 18 years old. No, we're t- uh, well, you're still with roll her, right? back in and just <laughs> punch the shit out oh, of the side of my head, sp- like you dumb motherfucker. Speaking of still being with her, I've got a theory on why Jared is not divorced right now. <laughs> why he's not legally divorced? I do you want to hear it? Yeah, I think he's. I mean, that's not a theory. That's. A hundred percent true. No, I have a theory on why. Okay. So here's my theory on why he's never actually physically like Gone done the paperwork. Just, just to sign get the divorced. paperwork. Yeah. It's because he knows that as soon as he does, he's going to get married again. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's my yeah, someone. Someone will talk me into it. Yeah. And I'm I'm kind of weak. I, I I do have weak <clears throat> points, especially when I go into my like full blown infatuation mode. Yeah. Where I'm like. No, this is it. No, bro, she's different. Yeah, she's never different. She's di- no, she's never different. Never different. Um, no, I like my situation. I'm not changing it. I'm but it. it's a safeguard for yes, himself. Yes, it's a, it's a very like, safe. It's tell- a safeguard for the family. Like, yeah, no girl that comes into my life now deserves anything. Fuck off. Don't care. You can be cool as fuck, but guess what? 
from this point forward, if you come into my life as a romantic piece, you are literally a value add to my life with that piece. Like, I want you as entertainment and that's it. I don't need anything else. Get the <laughs> fuck out. That's you want to tell me what to do? Attitude. What? It's a super healthy attitude. I don't give a shit. Like, someone, well, I, I guess what? Don't. Someone will, someone will fall into that place and I'll be fine. You'll, like, <laughs> you'll get bored eventually and want an actual romantic connection with someone and then that, I can have that. No. Yes. Not a real not one. Not in that one. No. Not in that Even mindset. I'll say that. Like I've done a lot of weird shit but even I'm getting to the point now where I'm just like I'm tired of this horse shit. Yeah. I like get, I can, I get the I can fact tell, that I'm tired of this horse I shit, can but. tell that I'm going to make a baby soon. Does that feel weird to you? Yes it does. Like I feel like like God I'm going to have a kid soon. And no, I'm not even, I, don't, like, I don't think you should do that though. You don't. You don't think I should? No. I'm gonna do it for sure. Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't give a shit. All I right. mean, yeah, you have to. All right. I'd say well, what. So I, 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 we're gonna do the sponsors, and then afterwards, <laughs> we're gonna do uh, some commonly asked uh, three some questions for you, Jim. Oh, here we go. First up, we got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Some beds. Beds for threesomes. Pillows. Pillows. Mattresses. Hard tops. Hard tops. Cases. <laughs> Everything you need for a mattress in this life. Imagine if you put a laptop case on. Just a case over your bed, you know? Like you could switch out the cases for your bed? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you just did dope. that. Um, Why not? You just put a fucking full case over your bed. Everybody's talking about their 36-month pay-as-you-go program. No interest at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. $38 a month. That's all it is, dude. Uh, and then you're in and out of there. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to worry about it. If you were military or first responder, 15% off forever. Everything in the store. Uh, love love the ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. A lot. I'm a gigantic fan of them. And if you're, uh, if you're a regular human like myself, um, look, man, they got fucking Black Friday deals that are coming up that will tear your dick and balls off. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get yourself a mattress. Who do we got up next, Anthony? Oh, uh, we've got Felix Gray, actually. Look at my fucking face. Yeah. You love him, dude. I do. Uh, I'm dude, tired of the blue light, bro. Yes. Tired he, of the headaches. These were one of our sponsors, man. That, uh, Your you friend can, went to get us more white claws. I don't know where she is. She never came back. Do you want to check and see if she's at the door? Uh, yeah, she texted gotta, you or anything? No, 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 no. She's, she's, she's got to. She's in my car. She's probably dead. She's probably dead. We got right. a girl here that's dead. Jamie didn't bother to switch. Uh, we're all live in studio, Jamie. It, it is crazy to me. Uh, and the White Claws, she should have been back by now. You would think so. I mean, it's She left when we started this show. That was a while back, right? A really while back. Um, look, FelixGreatGlasses.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, you're in front of your screen 11 hours a day between your computer at work, your fucking phones, uh, your TVs, everything, man. It's killing your eyes. I know it's killing mine. Mm -hmm. You were on this train a long time ago. You've been wearing these glasses on the show before they were a sponsor. Yep. I don't know if they watched the show. And so I, you I don't know. Them? That's a good question. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Either way, when they called, you were like, dude, I already wear these. The I know they were friends. Are they are fans of our show? Because the guy who we met, their rep in uh, New York, was yeah. a huge fan of the show. Two of those guys were. And we're fans of them. Yeah, they're great. Um, the, the, we love those guys. Uh, look, you go to FelixGreyGlasses.com. You get a pair of these. If you wear a prescription, it's an extra 20 bucks, and then you're good to go. Uh, you're, you're, you're good to go on, on your eyewear. Um, the beauty of these guys is this. Free overnight shipping. Yep. Boom. Right to your doorstep. You'll they'll be drop wearing those, them tomorrow. Uh, they'll drop those prescription lenses in, too, for an extra 20 yeah, bucks, and I think. Look, they're better than, like, fucking, what is it, craft? Lens, lens crafters. crafters. All that bullshit. Lens crafters. Get fucked, lens crafters. Yeah. Uh, these, are the, these are the real people. Yeah. These are the heroes of the world. FelixGreyGlasses.com. Uh, Drew, Drew, I sent I sent Drew the phone number to see make sure. Uh, yeah, Drew, there's some uh, there's some white claw in there if you want to grab it for us from the fridge. No, 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 no. no she's, if you want to make a call and make sure uh, we'll take three. She's alive. We'll yeah, take uh, not, we'll take uh, three of these from the fridge. She's not though, locked too. out or nothing like that. Yeah, but we'll God take three white claws from the fridge. Bring, can you bring competent people here, please? Facebook messenger. Yeah, uh, we'll take three from the fridge. Though. I um, hope she sold your car. Yeah. What if she? What care. if she died in your it's car? It's got low jack. Oh, that'd be funny. Oh, yeah. He sent jacks. Jared sent a, a stranger. Uh, There's nothing in there. Uh, laying pipe with that uh, to get. Why? Why does it know? You don't know that. You're not making love to that girl. Are you? No, no. no I'm just saying you don't know that we've uh, blasted. Yeah, she said. You, she said you guys have. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She yeah. said you. Uh, she said it. You went and you came inside her a bunch of times. I, I don't think that happened. 
Really? I don't know. No, that's what I do every time. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. that makes sense. That's uh, how I know. That's Maybe that's my brain. Maybe it's guilt. Maybe. I'm just could like, be your guilt. brain's like, you're having a baby because you just won't pull out. You could be having a little baby. Or, Who's our last sponsor here? Uh, it is Raycon. Buy Raycon.com. Speaking of coming inside bros. people. Boy, Ray J. Yeah. Did it. Sex there tape. Right yeah. So those are the new ones. Um, those are yours, Sherrod. Oh. Um, I can't wait. Every time you come here, we have all your goodies for you. So, yes. Uh, on this, these are uh, the best wireless <laughs> headphones there is. Everybody's been wearing these fucking things. Finally, we get a, a headphone heavy. sponsor that's been rad. And uh, look, with the at buyraycon.com forward slash drinking bros, it knocks it down to like 55 bucks. It's like 15% off. And they come with like a million earpieces, all that shit. Uh, all you do is pop them in a box. They charge. And they last for five hours. You can run a whole goddamn marathon. No, it's six hours things. now with the new ones. Uh, the new ones, six? Holy shit. God damn it, man. Uh, I look. I you know what's funny, man, is all these huge sponsors we have now. I see them all on Monday Night Football. Yeah, Raycon's on there. Roman. Roman's on there. Um, we love these guys. I f- I don't want to say like we fucking started it, but I feel like we started it. We were one of the first podcast ads they did. I feel like we started the That's fire awesome. with buyraycon.com. dot awesome. Yeah. So Ray J owns it, like Cardi B and all those guys, and like dude, they're they're rad and they're like fifty five bucks. Mm. So you don't have to go out and buy Beats by Dr. Dre for four hundred dollars. And this latest set is way louder than the old ones too. I know they I'm bang, dude. Yeah. yeah, they're great. So those are yours, Sherrod. Um, we'll leave the box for the wait. set. But, Charging uh, case. Yeah, yeah, it's the whole Charging thing. case, the whole thing, man. So you stick them in there, you're good to go. Buyraycon.com yes. forward slash drinking bros, dude. Get yourself uh, some headphones and a bunch of colors and all that shit. Those blue ones are dope. Those are the ones I picked up for you. Blue. I don't know if that's you your... Pick. Yeah, I, lo- I love blue. Yeah. yeah. So those are yours. If take I was it. green, I would die. Take them with you. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Ah. If I was green, I, I would nope. die. If I was green, I would die. All right, Jared. So we got some three some questions from the audience here. Okay. Um, Did you post something? I'm not saying I did. I'm not saying I didn't. I'll probably delete it afterwards. Uh, I just, I mean, did you tag me in it at least? No, I don't. I don't. Because this, we want this episode to be a surprise. So we're, I'll probably delete this right afterwards. Oh, I um, mean, I just really want to. What are some of the biggest lies? Because you watch a lot of porn. We all yeah. have. I'm not going to single you out and throw you okay. under the bus on this one. Um, what are some of the biggest lies porn told you about threesomes? That I, could ha- that I could have one with my stepmom and sister. Yeah, I, guess. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't have any. What is with that? Everybody's going. Idea. I mean, honestly, I no like, these yes. two were pros. They were best friends, and they weren't. Have they done it before? I don't think so. Here's the lie. It's that two women who've never met can go seamlessly into a threesome with a dude. Yes. That's yes, not true. That's a lie. That's, that's a lie, right? Like, there has to, you, imagine two, how hard it is to have. Their, their bond was so far beyond yeah. anything that, that they would fake or try to have with me that yeah. it was like, this was about them. Like, they were there for them. Okay. Like, I, the, was, I was just a, a tool. Yeah. I was the be- a tool. Like the best ones I've ever had. I don't want to call yourself women. a tool, but I mean, the best ones were, were, that I've ever had were with women that I knew that I knew one of them kind of, but they knew each other really yes. well. I got you. That's the best. Uh, ones. Uh, next up, uh, have you guys ever had ground rules before you started? Fuck no. 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 That's I'm not, words. No. no. I'm not, I'm not if going. If you if, 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 if you start off going ground in with rules, rules, I'm leaving. Yeah. If a girl's like, going in with rules, then she already isn't into it. It's, it's she's going in going. Oh, I uh, I don't want you to do this. It's like, well, then, fucking, you're not, you're not really. Into I it. know of a couple, and the the girl likes to watch her man fuck other dude or fuck other chicks. Yeah, but she doesn't want that <clears throat> other girl to make her man come. Ever. Yeah, that's a, a real really thing. yeah. Yeah, I have not heard that. Dumb. Yeah, it's like what's who, the who what's the thing I'm, behind? No that? fucking uh, idea. No idea. And it's not even like she doesn't want him to come in the other girl or come on her, in her mouth or any of that shit like that. She doesn't want that other girl to be the cause of him ejaculating. She wants him to fuck her up until the point where he's getting ready and then she makes him come. Like, that seems like, why don't you just eat the cum out of her pussy? That's hot. Like, I might get hard again immediately. Oh, pussy. God. Uh, Whoa. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, into I'm not into that. I've, that's happened <laughs> quite a few times with me and it's fucking hot. Okay, I'm back it up. So... Where the girl is eating the other dude's cum out of... No, the girl is eating my cum out of the other girl's pussy. Okay. That's a normal thing. Yeah, that's a that's a normal... It's, it, I mean, it's extreme, but yeah, it's a normal It thing. is extreme. And it's not... It, look, these aren't everyday things. You're not... If you're thinking about having threesomes every day of your life, go ahead and cancel that. 
because that's not going to happen. Yeah, it's there's there's too much physical and emotional energy involved in all that shit. Imagine how hard it is to get two people with good chemistry together to have good sex together. Because you've met hot ass girls before and fucked them, and it was just like this is fucking pointless. Right. This is boring. I could have stayed at home and jerked off and avoided all this. Yeah. And then you've met other people. Maybe you never even met them before that night, but you had like amazing sex together. It was just crazy. Yeah. Um, and. It's just it, who knows how that chemistry works, but it doesn't work every single time. There's no way. Yeah, right? you don't have to go get the, the the new white claws. If the girl got them and she's dead, she's dead. I. She left her oh, phone her here. here. <laughs> that's so fucking Jesus. funny. She dude. probably doesn't even know how to get back here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now too. Jesus that's hilarious, Christ, dude. She's just alone in the world. Oh well, the show continues, and that's what the beauty about this. Oh, uh, all right. God. Do you guys use condoms in threesomes? No. Yeah, I know. You, you're a condom guy. I'm not. I am. Yeah. I don't. I don't have sex with anybody that I that I aren't that I'm not completely sure doesn't have some kind of SED ever. Okay. Because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with con- like I don't do one night stands with random people. I'm not gonna go meet some girl at a bar tonight and go home and fuck her. There's really, a, there's a zero percent chance I'll ever do that. Just because of you or because it, there's a lot of reasons. One is because with like, the experience that I have now, I know that I'm not gonna have a good time doing that. Yeah, like it, I just don't care about of, that. It's kind of a drag. That, that conquest thing or, or being in an awkward situation with somebody that just ruins it all for me. Yeah. I would rather have a friend that I've never even thought about sexually that you before. Talk to a lot. Yeah, like it's just like, com- hey, do you want to fuck? I'm like, yeah, that's a good you idea. You talk about that. this leading up to it. Yeah, like, that way it's way less uncomfortable. Yeah, like okay. why? Why? Like, but th- that's we know a lot of people too, so it's different, I guess. But I would never. I would never expose myself to weird shit like that. And I don't just mean SEDs. I would definitely not expose myself to that. But I was, would also not expose myself to unnecessary, awkward, weird bullshit. Okay. Like, I don't like that. Um, is booze a main factor when getting this started? Do you need booze? No. Yes. Were you s- Okay, what about you? Were you sober? No. Were they sober? Uh, no. I mean, we definitely <laughs> were, were a little tipsy, but it wasn't like this was planned. No, that's not the point, though. It's oh, not. Okay. I, I wouldn't say that it's ever necessary. Like, it's not just necessary to do that. But I think it's a good. I think it's a lubricant, right? That's what alcohol is. That's what uh, Mark Twain used to call it. It's like a social lubricant. Okay. Right? So I think uh, to take to to basically what it does is it deadens the front of your brain that make that's that's paranoid is making little small micro decisions all the time. Right, yeah. it deadens that part of it, and then your actual brain is just making all the decisions at that point. Okay. Um, what do so, you say? What, hey, did you find the dead girl? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we're maybe, still on air. Maybe Drew. take the phone. Yeah. Take the take the phone. We got a we got a dead girl here. Um, <laughs> we got we got a missing in action. Somebody else wrote in too. Uh, for this is for uh, Dan. Um, he said, uh, when Hunter S. Thompson ran for sheriff of Aspen. Yep. Um, that is the greatest story of all time. Since we're running for the new Hanover County School Board, uh, they would like you to read this article about when Hunter S. Thompson ran for sheriff. They'd like me to read it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send me the link. Yeah, I'll read it. Uh, it's really funny. So I'll, I'll, I'll get that link. I'm later. sure it was crazy. I mean, you know, uh, Come Together by the Beatles. They wrote that for Dr. Timothy Leary when he was running for governor of California, right? Really? Yeah. That's funny. If you don't know who Timothy Leary is, go ahead and look him up. You can see him in Nice Dreams, one of the Cheech and Chong movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is food ever involved? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. You ever use? Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food how? Tell me how, because I don't I, do I, Somebody I, said I, fondue. So, uh, there was like three pizzas involved on the cruise. What? Nothing. In your room? Just you came in there, and there was pizza everywhere. There was, but I didn't know if that was the aftermath. Yeah, that was the aftermath. Okay, so I mean, after you guys are boning, then you're all eating. Pizzas, no, we right? were eating pizza during. As you guys were fucking, I took break. I took pizza breaks. When all of you guys were fucking, yeah, is this real? I just sat on the couch, had a pizza, <laughs> drank another beer, <laughs> fucking jump back in. That is one of the benefits. <laughs> no, for real, that's what? that's one of the yeah. Benefits. You can take breaks. That's one of the benefits of being the dude. You can I, you can absolutely slip out of there and come back in. Yeah, that's a level of comfort though. Him. That like, no, 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 no. You can no. you can slip out of there and come back in pretty much any time. <laughs> oh boy. I would always, I, if I saw somebody just eating pizza across from me and I was watching, I was doing all the work. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, Hey bro, you want to, no, you want to drop no, that like, slice and get back? I'll be, in the there, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah. Hang on. What if the dude, this. what if the dude just throwing ham slices at you? 
Just a couple pepperonis. I'd be all right with that, but he's got to get back in the action soon. Like, you know, it's a lot of work. Two is a lot of work. Women don't really need breaks. Men do. No, no, I know, but like I need recharge time, but they can still keep blasting each other out while I'm doing that. Okay. Uh, What happens (laughs) if the pressure gets to you? Have you ever ended up with performance anxiety? No. Okay. So you guys are both good to go. You've never gotten so nervous where you're just like, all right, cool. I don't feel anxiety. Yeah, I'm not nervous. All right. In general. You're, you have two naked chicks in front of you. This is hot as fuck. Have they ever and if you, said, here's, hey, you're dick? Here, like, but here's, here's the thing. No. Here, it's easy to fucking combat that. You just fucking accept that it's happening. And fucking as soon as you accept that anxiety is happening, <coughs> it almost always goes away. So if, I'm, if I were to have that kind of issue, I would just be like, hey, uh, my dick's not working. Can one of you come over and suck it, please? And that usually takes care of that. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. Right. I mean, like, honestly, if you face it that way, it's like taking, like, it's a medical issue. Your, your brain is overthinking and your body's not working properly. Get your brain out of, the, uh, out of the equation. Yeah, get it gone. It's easy. Take a Roman. Get it gone. Uh, this is a good one, actually. Uh, kissing, is that a no-no? Fuck no. no. How, do you want to fuck somebody without kissing them? Yeah, that's weird. Well, here's that's the weird thing. as shit to me. That's super Like, weird. I don't if play by pretty, pretty woman the other rules. dude's dick, right? I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Man, that's where we differ on that. No, one. I mean, I don't you wanna... just gotta not care. Remove, remove. You like, you're fucking taught to think that way. Let me ask you this: Do you fucking kiss a girl after you've come in her mouth? And how long do you wait? Do you make her brush her teeth, etc.? Because I don't really care. No, I don't either. Honestly, I always kiss them. with tongue. I always kiss them. Who cares? Well, I think it's rude it's when a, they go to kiss you, and you're it's like, it's a peck eh, on the lips. Eh, I think it's a peck eh, on the lips. Eh, yeah. You know. So you're worried about having your own cum in your mouth. Both. Uh, for, bo- for both sides cares. Like if you, go, if you go down on somebody Where you're just like No hey, but you pull out of a girl And she immediately starts Sucking your dick And pussy is all over that thing Right yeah. Always There's no way to Yeah not... you gotta return the favor yeah. The way they return it Yep. Yeah, yeah. but you, you can, there's always A proper protocol Of like hey man Not a proper I mean you just gotta not Depends care Depends on the person I'm married Jared You, you know just know don't saying? care You know so, Yeah You don't <laughs> care when you're yeah. not married no, I mean, it, that's, it's even Jared, different. If you are married, it's the same one. You've been no, doing this for fucking years. No, but you get to know years. each other's like, yeah, all right, cool. That creeps me out. Because yeah. you're afraid of cum. Yeah. So not a, Well, I mean, I, so you would kiss a girl with your cum in her mouth. Uh, after she swallowed. Yeah, I mean, there's still some in there, though. Uh, maybe. So you're Jared. not. You're, it's, it's, it's what? More, it's more the, uh, the visual of cum than it is the actual yeah, cum itself. Yeah, it's the visual. It's not yeah. The, yeah. Ah, next one's good. I, it's a great one. What 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 if uh, the other guy has got a bigger dick than you? Who cares? Bigger how? Like longer? Longer, fatter? fatter. Doesn't matter to me. Look, d- dicks are made for a specific job. Right? That's not going to intimidate you. No, no, of course not. Why would I've it? got yeah. two two fucking girls that are letting me do things to them. I'm He's talking about a male male female threesome. Yes, yes I yes. believe. Yeah, the, the last couple have been that of yeah. like because we were talking about swapping on the cruise, right? Because you would, yeah. So. No, like, like the, guy, point, the guy, the guy you're male, reading, male, female, female. Yeah. you still got two girls, right? Like, why am I paying attention to his dick? But like, you're Who eating cares? pizza on the couch, right? Yeah, at that point, and, and you're watching this dude blast, blast, yeah. blast the girl you're with. Yeah. Did he have a bigger dick than you? I don't know. You I never looked paying, at his dick. I, once. I wasn't paying attention. Man, I would. I'd pop on I over there. I don't care about that. I peek on over at a, at a urinal at a, at a Falcons yeah. game. I would know? look at his dick, and if he had a nice dick, I'd be like, "Hey, that's a nice dick, bro. Yeah. Like, beautiful. congratulations. Fuck, beautiful like, dick. if I if I meet somebody that's smarter than me, I'm like, oh, cool, you're smart. I like yeah. that. Teach, yeah. teach me what you know. That's cool. Yeah. Like, you can't teach somebody to have a bigger dick, but look, at the end of the day, the reason you're doing it shouldn't just be for you. If you're in a relationship, especially, like, yeah, you want like, your fucking girl to be experiencing something new and exciting as yeah. well. Okay. And if a different dick is new and exciting, then good for her. Women are never going. This this is where it's like a girl wishing is, that. Like, this is where a caveman dude. The bullshit. other vagina was like destroyed. Yeah, it's disgusting. fucking stupid. It doesn't it's make like, any oh, sense. No, no, that would suck. Why would? No. Then why are we having a threesome? No. So dudes, this is this is another ironic thing about this whole situation. A woman will never leave you because another dude has a bigger dick. It it will. I promise you, there's a zero percent chance of that happening. It'll never happen unless you have like a micro dick or something like that. But if you have a normal sized dick that functions properly, no woman is going to leave you. Nice. But, and yeah. You are like women care about so much different shit than yeah. that, and they they don't come because you have a bigger dick. That's not how that works. Women come from well. There's two parts. One is physical, and it's uh, it, it's stimulation of the G spot along with clitoral stimulation at the same time, right? So push your legs over her head. And then fucking get as deep in your, her as you can. That'll work. And then the other part is like sensory 
It's 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 emotional. Connection. It's it's emotional. There's a connection there. It's like it doesn't matter if the dude's dick is bigger than mine. Who cares? Okay. Like I, functionally, look, it doesn't matter. These are the questions. These are the questions that well, are being asked. Tell those people to get fucked. And I'm answering that. You're telling them yourself <laughs> on the microphone. Um, uh, this is a good one. <laughs> is there a particular order? Like, you definitely shouldn't start with anal, right? Like, that's just starting off the party too fucking crazy. I don't think that that's anal... That, man. I don't think in general that anal is all that necessary. No. In any situation, much Let's less... Let's say somebody else starts it, and it's just like, whoa, that's the party Starts we've... at how? I mean, it depends on what the situation is. Uh, if, like, one of the two, two dudes, girls... Two girls on the bed, right? Uh, and, the, and the dude immediately starts saying on, on the girl. If, if So if some dude is, like, let's say I'm uh, married or whatever, and the dude's fucking my wife in the ass. Yeah. And uh, that doesn't make me feel any pressure to fuck this girl in the ass. Like, if my wife wants to get fucked in the ass, then I'll yeah, do that that's for all her. that's all up to her. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Right. But, I like... I don't think that's really that necessary, to be no, honest. No, I don't think it is. Uh, do you, as another dude, as, an, uh, as a partner in this th- three or foursome, do you encourage commentary? Absolutely. Okay, you do? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like, hey, you're it's, doing a good job at this. It's funny. Yeah. 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 I, I say it. I was like, yeah, suck that dick, motherfucker. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was like, you say motherfucker? It. I was like, get it, you little slut. <laughs> yeah. Which, that is something I, it's I, hot i find that more and more women like to be uh talked to roughly yes and i've actually had a number of them ask me to slap them hard in the face recently <laughs> what yeah. yeah yeah i think i know it's more it's more than you think I, like yes. really like really hard and right in the fucking face and like man i don't know because i'm a big dude and i look like somebody who commit like, domestic violence you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> like i have that look about me so i'm like oh so a degrading now. fetish is way more popular than you think uh, i know why and it, it, like i'll go ahead and answer this one for the audience um the reason why is because america and society has turned into such pussies yeah. the only way you can get away with the fucking sick shit that you actually want or you actually want to do that you're fucking ra- raging on everybody else is behind closed doors yeah. and then you go nuts it's the it's the same reason why these like the dnc conventions they always say they're the craziest sexually because it's behind closed doors. All the shit they secretly preach in public, they get behind closed doors and they're like, oh, fuck that. I don't want to do that. Like, yeah. let's get wet. Um, all right. Uh, if you think about something in the moment and you don't discuss it beforehand, it doesn't really matter, obviously. Uh, we talked about that. Um, oh, that's a good one. How long? What's the average time? This whole thing should last. What, what's the proper uh, time for that? It depends on what you mean all by this whole like thing. Two hours. It depends on what you mean by this whole thing. Well, Jared's you, only going one round. You're talking about this whole. Yeah, uh, but it still lasts in two hours. The entire event. Yeah, I would say three to five, probably hours. Three to five hours is a long yeah. time. It is, yeah. yeah. But there's a lot of stuff that goes on there. Like the dude comes, and either the girls keep going, or you all relax for a minute and start doing something else, and then it kicks off again. You know, there's a lot. It's it's more about. Uh, it's less about the orgasms and it's about the experience in general. And then, yeah, you know there's I mean? the rotation of yeah. everything. Of like, there's a lot of this, stuff going on. You try on this. There. You try this. You try this. You okay. Try this. Yeah. And uh, are drugs? Uh, nah. Drugs would be mushrooms are fun for threesomes. Yeah. If both of the girls mushrooms are into are mushrooms, but don't yeah. get anybody to do anything they wouldn't normally do because they're going to get super weird and uncomfortable yeah. about it. <laughs> Man, if you're if you're on mushrooms during a threesome, yeah. oh, it's fucking holy. It's sh- wild as fuck. Shit. I loved it. Uh, <laughs> Where do you end up ejaculating? Um, inside one of the girls, typically. Well, what if what or if all you... over them? Yeah, all over them both. It really well, what's depends the on that. Like because then you have to fuck. Yeah, one you of can them know, again, you just right? get two towels. It's easy. All right. It it really depends on the girls at that point, to be honest, because they're the ones causing that to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, but <sighs> that's still gonna be everywhere. You know. I mean, it's calm, dude. Who cares? Yeah, it's messy. It's come messy go, at that come, point. Come goes everywhere. That's what come does. Yeah. Uh, Jared, has anybody ever gotten weird partner wise with you afterwards? Of like, hey man, you like to fuck that girl better than you like to fuck me? No, no. that's okay. because everybody that I've done this with uh, was was experienced and or very open and not didn't have unreal expectations or anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, last question: Do you call the people both? Let's say you're in a threesome. Yeah. Do you call both people the next day? How does that work? You yeah, text them? Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, group text. We're in a group, group text. text. Yeah, a group All right, text. so it is a group text. Yeah. All like, right. Hey, who's got pictures? Bang, 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 bang. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you guys taking pictures the whole time? Uh, or video. 
That's another thing. I've had an increasing amount of women ask me for video of me fucking other people recently. Oh, uh, I request a lot. Really? Yeah. yeah. And, and I think it's because, and Jesse's talked about this before, women love amateur porn for whatever reason. Yes. Because like it's non threatening. Like, yeah. nobody wants to see fucking. No Super normal wo- no Jess Rockwell fucking yeah no no me. normal woman is looking for some fucking thirteen inch goddamn no. like coke can coming at their face they're like oh god no. well the reason why is it look the the deepest of usually a female vagina is about eight inches not even that what are you gonna dude. do with the it's last like, fucking it's, yeah, six un, of un, that? un un unwided on for lack of a better phrase yeah is like three you know we love a good wide on here yeah we love wide ons it's three yeah. to three to eight yeah it's difficult wow. yeah okay and eight would be completely very stimulated. healthy show it was it was and i think i think for the drinking bro of the week we should actually just give this to your parents yeah um because not yeah, only are they hearing one. about this for the first time but yeah. this actually yeah. happened inside their house they uh did you wash the sheets or did they wash the sheets i don't remember okay great yeah. um because if your mom is listening all right yeah and she did wash the sheets miss taylor Sorry. Is uh just, yeah. It's a life life event. I, I just want to go for it. I just want to bring it back up that she uh added me on Facebook. Yeah, we heard we heard. We yeah, heard. yeah, she added you on Facebook. Yeah, we yeah. heard Dan. Um was yeah, it after the three something? Like did was it was it, after. It was two weeks ago from today. Oh man, maybe she knew. Maybe she knew. Maybe she was trying to get the back this is, a, this is a great way to get back at her son, is like by bringing a new father. No, in. no. Or a new man of the relationship. No, it's none of that. If, it's gonna be it's it's two dudes and your mom. So it's, Wait, me, no. it's me and your mom and dad. Oh, hang on. My hang on. God, and we're dude. living together. What if your parents asked Dan to be in a threesome in front of you? No, I'm, that's not going to be in front of Wait, in of front me. of him. That would be weird. Okay. But yeah. he, I will let him know about it for sure. Afterwards? If they're like, hey, just don't tell Jared. I'm like, well, <laughs> my best friend. I've known him for fucking 15 years. I'm going to oh, tell him. We're going to have to tell him. And also, on. look at his face when I tell him. I want to see that oh, face oh, every yeah. fucking Come day. On. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on, that'd be Dan. nice. That'd be nice. It's not going to be nice when they hear this episode. No, nope. but um, no, she, I'll, get a, she may, I'll get a text. She may unfriend me on Facebook. I get a text. I get a phone call. A bunch of emojis. I'll you think you'll get a, a <laughs> one of those purple emojis? Yeah, maybe. An egg oh, the emoji. Egg eggplants angry, angry, in the water. No, the angry devil. I think there's a way that I can actually add an eggplant emoji to the description. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to to this one. I'm going to this one. Oh, uh, this oh. was fun. This hey. was informative. I learned a lot about you guys today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We learned a lot about each other. We learned about a lot about love. Yeah, we a lot did. about love, yeah. A little yeah, about, about love. A little about living, a lot about love. Yeah. Uh, way down yonder in the Chattahoochee. There you go. Where Never knew how much that muddy water meant to me. Oh, God. I mean, how she that soiled the bed. Uh, for d- no, it's <laughs> the actual river he's talking about, <laughs> no, asshole. No. But oh. if you All said right. that in a threesome, I never knew how much that muddy water meant to me, then <sighs> there's a, it's going to be a muddy bed. Brownie. Brownie, get that uh, cover protector from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. For D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, Jared Taylor, I'm Ross Patterson. This, is, well, this has been disgusting. All right, yeah, thank you. Bad. Three men and an entire show about threesomes. We should, have, we should have had some woman on here to. Ah, uh, we will. Yeah. Shut yeah. The fuck well, up. the girl you brought's dead. Yeah, she's dead. We so. don't know where she went. No. It's fine. All right. <laughs>